The first solution to solve the GPU render error inside Premiere Pro is very simple. Just go ahead and close the software and then launch it again. And if that doesn't work, try rebooting your computer, since this is known to solve many bugs. The solution number two is to check the timecode. So inside the error that pops up, you can see that there is a session called around time code. And here in my case, you can see it's around two minutes and 23 seconds. So I will go to two minutes and 23 seconds in the sequence here. And I notice that there is a clip starting just at this point in time. This indicates that this is the clip that's triggering the error. So in that case, you can try to delete it you can try to re-edit, or if you have applied any effects to it, try removing the effect. Here are some other things you can check for around the timecode. I will leave a link to this article in the description. The third solution is more of a workaround, so go ahead and click on File, click on Project Settings, and then go to General. And here, against the renderer, you want to change this from GPU acceleration, to the one called software only. Then go ahead and click on OK and try to render your clips. If you get the error while trying to export your project out of Premiere, go ahead and open the export tab, then open the video tab, click on more, scroll down to the encoding settings, and here you want to set the performance against software encoding, and then click on export. Using the software encoding or rendering will increase the processing time, as now you will rely only on the CPU and you will not get any help from your GPU. The fourth solution is a classic and known to solve many issues inside Premiere. So we are going to create a new sequence with our clip. Right click the sequence tab here, click on reveal sequence in project, then click on the sequence here, click on new sequence from clip and then inside the new sequence we want to remove this one go to the old sequence select all the clips in the sequence go to copy go to the new sequence and then press ctrl v to paste them or command v on a mac Doing this, you might have to readjust the audio levels. The fifth solution is a quite creative one, but it has worked for some people on the internet, and this solution is to unplug any external monitor. So, how does this work? You simply click on render, or you click on the export button if you're exporting, and then immediately unplug your monitor. For more solutions, you can check out this article here on my website, and I will leave a link to it in the description of this video. Give the video a thumbs up if you found it helpful. Thanks for watching.